You ever take a look at your Smash game and you say to yourself, man, I just really don't want to play today, but I'm going to play anyway. I felt that before. Have you ever looked at Smash Brothers and you thought to yourself, man, this game has so much stuff, so much music, so many stages, so many characters, and yet I still do not want to play. Yeah, no, I'm with you there. And listen, I bet everybody, when it comes to every game, feels that way in some form, you know, somehow. We all kind of look at our games, right? That, that we play and, you know, the biggest ones. And we think to ourselves, man, there's just so much in this game and I just don't know what to do with it. And I think that makes a lot of sense right now because even with something as recent as the Sephiroth update, with this, uh, with Smash Brothers Ultimate, I think it's safe to say that we just have a lot that we aren't even paying attention to. Um, let me put it this way. Smash Brothers has a lot of characters, stages, music, and it continues to add more as time goes by. The problem is, I want to ask to you, how much of that music are you listening to? How many of those stages are you playing frequently? How many characters are you willing to try out in a given week? per se, assuming that you play a week of Smash Brothers. Chances are, a million of you guys might say that you're only using two to three characters. And when it comes to stages, many of you might only be using Battlefield and, 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 and Final Destination. Many of you guys don't even care about the music. But the point is, this is like the market right now. They are selling us constant amounts of music, right? They are giving us one stage per DLC fighter, like giving us another character, another play style to, to go through. And honestly, the characters, you know, I don't have a problem with that. Um, what I do have a problem with, right? Or what I do think is honestly a, some sort of a weakness for Nintendo, or Smash Brothers in this case, it's going to get to a point where there's just going to be so much stuff that nobody's even going to pay attention to. And let's be honest here, that can't be everyone's fault for not paying attention to the music and whatnot. Everybody just wants to have fun and play the game, you know? Get through some challenges and, and have a little pizzazz in their experience. You know, I, I know I always do. In fact, I strive for it. I'm like the only kid who plays Smash Brothers who strives to gain something by listening to all the music, experimenting with all the stages, playing through all the spirits and finding some fun in any of that. But here's my point, right? We have so many things in this game that it's so hard to appreciate all of it at the same time that I think because we have so much material now to work with, Smash Brothers should go to a route in which other companies and video games are going as well. Now, what is that you may ask? The Maker trend. Now, Super Mario Maker, a game where you get to make your very own Mario levels with blocks and bricks and obstacles and enemies from all across the Mario board. All across the Mario universe. Link's Awakening, the new one, gives you the option to make dungeons. Now, you're gonna notice that I'm going to plug into Smash Brothers, but the point is, I'm not thinking about Stage Builder. Stage Builder's already a thing. It's been a thing. That's not the point right now. The point is, Many people don't even have the capacity, for starters, to have so many custom stages into their thing. They're only allowed to have like a maximum of 100 or something. Same with me characters. So if you're limited so far with all of these things, then why not just make your own Smash levels? Smash classic modes? Cla Smash modes in general? And share those with people? We have so much material, right? We could start a freaking chocobo race and have pac maze go by like 150 miles per hour and see who goes first. And you have to be a me character that wears a chocobo outfit. Or a boss battle between three friends and one huge boss. It's already been made before, but make it in like an official thing, right? Where you can design the specific HP for every character and the scenario and the items and everything. Or even, you know, let me, let me see if I can think of anything. We'll even recreate arms. We'll recreate some sort of um, 
first person shooter and put it in the in, in a Smash Brothers perspective with just all snake and we'll utilize every kind of machinery or weaponry or whatnot. What I'm saying is Smash Brothers is at a point where so much material can be used now, right? That we can just we should be able to, to, to utilize all of these costumes and this music and really create an environment for ourselves to express to the world. And it's something that I've been thinking about a lot, right? This, this video is five minutes long, but this is this is the idea that I, that, that I think should really expand with Smash Brothers, um, at the very least after the fighters pass, because I assume that Sakurai during the pandemic is working exclusively on the fighters pass and adding minor edits to the game, which is absolutely understandable. But listen to this idea. The, mar the maker trend is not a bad trend at all. In fact, I'm totally down to capitalizing on it, okay? Especially with a game with so much stuff in it. That there's little to appreciate when you can't even notice it. And spirits don't really help that much of the time either. You know, you can have spirits uh, work with some stages and some characters and some effects and the music, but once that music's done, there's many other tracks, many other stages that are barely ever used. You'd think to yourself that you'd want to make this, make something out of this, right? A maker. A maker theme. Come on! I'm a little bit downed out because it's been a while and they've never done anything about it, but... What do you think? Um... Honestly, I, I think I've heard of people, you know, doing stuff like this a while back. I heard something in Smash Boards about some guy wanting some build your own events mode. And honestly, that's a really good idea, especially right now. We need more communication through the things that we make to people. And it sucks that we do not have that. But that's honestly some of the funnest stuff that I've ever had, right? Mario Maker back in the Wii U days was honestly... I don't know, man. It, 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 I can't explain it. I can't explain it. It's a whole other feeling altogether, but it made me feel a lot less lonely. Um, and that was even like before pandemic, that was like five years ago. So, you know, it's 2020. I'm feeling freaking lonely as heck. You probably do too. I'm just saying, I'm just saying we need a bigger sense of communication in some regard and that restriction to connect more is impeding it's not doing us any favors in the middle of this pandemic for people who love playing video games and expanding upon ideas the creativity is, can be through the roof but we just need that push you know this idea is going to make a lot of bank if nintendo implements it trust me i think i think this could work but um i might be a little bit over ambitious about it just let me know because it's just an idea that, that kind of popped in my head after thinking about it for a while. But other than that, um, let me know what you think. I'm going to talk more about this someday. But in the meantime, peace out.